Um, we were supposed to do this interview like a month or two ago, but then you ended up getting locked up and there was a crazy ass police chase that was partially caught on Instagram live. What what happened there? I really, I don't know, man. That shit is, I don't know. Poli following me, I think. I don't know. But you, you ended up just going on a, on a run trying to outrun them. Yeah, I rather not even speak about it. My lawyer, my lawyer told me don't speak about it. Right, you're still dealing with that, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So, where's your mentality at now? It feels like a lot of rappers. The whole deal is that they want to get signed. They want to get clicked up with the right people and shit. It seems like you kind of have decided to go your own way. That you'd rather be your own sort of independent entity, not independent, but you know, you you're just trying to do shit your own way. For sure, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going come out on top my own way. That's what I'm trying to do, like, let my own mind and this shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really trying to have no other nigga in on me. Right. Yeah. Got you. Did you have a relationship with Rollo? Do you know him before he got locked up and shit? I heard you shouting out a uh, fan. No, I just, fan like, and shit. I, listen, I listen to Rollo shit. Like, that's somebody that I listen to, like, on, on like, I listen to Rollo when I, like, going through some shit mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Rollo that, that's a pretty crazy situation he seems like he just came home he beat the fucking fed case like nobody's supposed to him and all his boys kept their mouth shut that doesn't normally happen these days R- R- Rollo got down to take care of all your people you know what I'm saying he made sure everybody's great right I mean that's crazy he's coming home basically like a fucking legend or a hero in a lot of ways whereas a lot of people come home and they get kind of the opposite treatment because they ended up talking or whatever. Sure. It's kind of nice. It's nice to see that uh, the old way of doing things still still salute. exists. I salute Rollo, man. For America. Mm. Facts. Um, so how'd you end up... I watched this long-ass Instagram live with you and some tension popping up with uh, Got It. Where, where did that come from? I don't know. I think he just mad. He probably got mad. I ain't put him on the remix so to feel like go up. He wanted to be on that. He wanted to be on that. Mm. They really why he got mad because he was just like, I don't know. When I met him, he when I, when I first met him, I ain't even know him. he 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 knew me like, like I know I knew he was cause he rap like you know what I'm saying I knew he ain't like this little guy it, but I ain't expect him to be like, hey Ola, come get in my video. You feel me? Right. I ain't know him. like when he got in the video. Like, he just got mad. Like, he just posted on Instagram for Ola. Damn, he posted that? I don't know. Like, they, 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 they were showing me. And this, uh, he would take it down. Like, I don't know. That's Post crazy. Like, two minutes or some shit. So how you feel about that, though? Is that something where you feel like you are supposed to do something about that situation? Or is it good enough to just ignore him after that? Yeah, I like, just, they, like, people in the city, they know me. Like, people, I ain't beefing with that nigga, man. Mm-hmm. I ain't. You seem pretty level-headed, though, for somebody who... I'm sure that in the past, you've had situations where people talk shit about you and you handle it a certain way. You seem pretty level-headed about how you plan on handling your beefs from here on out as an actual rap star, right? Yeah, for sure. I just see, like... I see what's going on. I hear, like... The rap shit, like... Shit, like... A lot of rappers be getting targeted by shit. My other shit about the police and shit. I'm, just, I'm really be, I'm really just trying to stay free. You feel me? Mm. Cause how long have you been free? It's only been what, a couple of years? Like two years? Or something? A year? Yeah, like, yeah, like three years. I'm going on three years in September, right? Okay. And you haven't really had too much serious uh, trouble with the cops since then. Hey, yeah. I rather not even speak on it though. Okay. So where's your mentality at now in terms of like? I seen you putting out some new videos and stuff, but is, is there a project that you're planning, or like what, what 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 do you feel like you need to do to kind of take shit to the next level or get you know make a a, a, a big moment for the culture? Just keep dropping. That's all I gotta do. Keep dropping. Like you know, what I'm saying I got my net project. I'm finna drop called Harder to Kill. Mm. You know what I'm saying and Gucci really came up with that name. I'm just going with it. Cause he had a hard to kill tape, right? Yeah, he mm-hmm. had a heart to kill, but he wanted me to come out with hard earth to kill. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
me and me what's going on right now. Like I stuck with it. I ain't gonna change the name of them. I'ma keep it, I'ma keep that. And I'm finna drop that, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna fuck the streets over that. Right. You feel like people really wanna kill you? Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like this how I, I don't know, I just feel like I gotta stay on point. Mm. You definitely gotta stay on point. But do you feel like that uh does that kind of haunt you? I mean, we've seen, let's be real, we've seen a lot of rappers run into a lot of problems in their hometowns over the past couple of years. It's like, you feel like, you know, you got to really be on your P's and Q's in Atlanta because of definitely somebody who might be jealous or wanting to do something to you. Yeah, you got to stay on point. Mm. Stay on point everywhere you go, really. You know what I'm saying? But especially in your hometown, because, like, people really, like, might know how you move, know where your folks stay at. You know what I'm saying? Like, Know where your hangout spots and shit be at, so you really gotta know how to move. Mm. Know where gas station you go to and shit. You know what I'm saying? It goes down to the gas station. Go down everywhere. Go mm. down. But you know what I'm saying? But you really gotta know how you move. Like going there, though, go out the other though. Mm. That's smart. I never thought about that before. Um. Okay, and so. Are there any artists in particular that you'd like to work with that you haven't worked with yet, or is there anybody like I don't know? What's, what's your attitude on on the whole rap game? Is are you are you planning on just doing you, or is it like, yeah, like people love, that you want to like, work with? It's, it's it's like a lot of artists I want to work with. I ain't work with whoever really, whoever really I ain't work with. Like I want to work with like the, the artists I name. You know what I'm saying, Stone to Vegas, mm. Rod Wade, you know what I'm saying NBA Young Boy, well. Uh, Riley Rich, mm. shit like that, man. You, know, you trying to got down go big with this shit. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, do you still get uh, tested? Like, you still on probation and shit? They still test you for drugs? Yeah. How's that going? What's the PO officer like? I pass. You pass on a regular basis. <laughs> That's good. They don't care about weed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they care about weed. That's K two weed, so you can get tested and it won't. Yeah, it'll yeah. come back clean. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, good to know. Um, anything else we need to know? The next tape's harder to kill. Yeah, harder to kill. Then got um, I got another tape coming out after that. Like, you know, I got another tape coming out after that. I'm not saying, yeah, all these motherfuckers really already done it, already made. I just gotta really just put them out. You know what I'm saying. Right. I'm coming, like, I'm coming. Like, I'm really coming. Like, I got a plan. Like, get us out of here. Definitely. You got, yeah. that watch looks pretty expensive. How do you feel about your financial situation right now? Do you feel pretty comfortable or you, you know, you feel yeah, like you made like, it at all? I feel like I made it. I feel like I made it. Real shit. Right. Hey, yeah. But it's still <laughs> a long way to go. There's still, yeah, yeah. still a lot I you can do. I ain't, I ain't nowhere near done. Like, I just started. I just started, but I ain't got to do no other shit. Yeah. I just got to sit in front of one of these. Sit in front of one of these motherfuckers. And there it is. It's a hell of a way to make it. And, and just flip. Just flip what I got. Facts. Anybody you want to uh, shout out? Anything you want to tell them to look forward to? Um... Let me see. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my hood. Shout out to uh, everybody who really been on, been, been rocking ever since. Who ain't played both sides, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who got down really solid. The solid. There it is. My hood. <laughs> Cinematic. Sean. Shout out Johnny Shipes. Johnny Shipes. Mm. Johnny Shipes, definitely for sure. Sean Bula. Yeah, you got white friends now. Yeah, for real. I like black lives matter still, but I love, I love, I love my bros. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like, son, that's my bro. Adam, you my bro. Hey, we out here. There it is. All the run. 2020. For sure. 2020, we taking over this shit. Coming for it all. And everything. And some more. There it is. All right. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Like, comment, subscribe. Obama runs on deck. Shout out to Sosa, man. We smoking gross.
Shia. We got Dior face masks, all that. Yeah, man. man I don't care that shit, man. I died of COVID. You scared? You no, worried I'm at really. all about that? I had a lot of people in Atlanta telling really. me that ain't nothing changed in Atlanta. <laughs> Nobody really give like a fuck. It. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that shit really don't change. Then in Atlanta, like, yeah. still, like, no social distancing. Yeah. Yeah. Another classic interview in the books. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and head on over to nojumper.com to support. Appreciate y'all.